हेलो आवाज आ रही मेरी जी सर आ रही है अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम सलाम बाकी क्यों नहीं आ रहे ठीक है कम है स्टूडेंट क्यों स्टूडेंट्स कम है एक दो मिनट वेट कर ले
स्क्रीन नजर आ रही हेलो ओके बिस्म रही सो टूडे टॉपिक इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कर्नल एक्टेरिया विद आर जी पी लेंजेस दिस इज टोटली क्लिनिकल सो कॉमन कर्नियल एक्टेजिया विच वी कैन मैनेज विद वेरियस टाइप ऑफ आर जी पी लेंजेस आर क्रेटोकोनस क्रेटोग्लोबस प्लस मार्न डी जनरेशन एंड पोस्ट लेसेक्स सो so, ये जो मैंने के आप कहेंगे कि भाई कर्नल एक्टेजा तो काफ़ी टाइप्स हैं लेकिन ये वो मैंने रखे हैं विच वी कैन मैनेज विद वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ आर जी पी लेंजेज चूँकि मॉड्यूल आर जी पी लेंजेज से रिलेटेड तो इसलिए मैंने सिर्फ वो रखे यहाँ पे कि मार्फोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कैरेटकोनस इनकोड नेपल कॉन ओवल कॉन ग्लोबस कॉन स्माल एंड स्टीप करवेचर larger and ellipsoidal and largest cones no what are the signs of keratoconus mostly these are bilateral in 85% cases but they are asymmetrical usually if you on general examination you will see bulging of the lower lids and the don't get and munson signs while dual retinoscopy you will see the scissor reflex and eye droplets while doing the selectam examination you may see warts stripe prominent corneal nerves flesher rings and scarring and acute eye drops so far keratoconus you need do general examination retinoscopy and selectam examination so you will see different signs of keratoconus keratoglobus usually answered as at birth mostly bilateral protrusion and then of the entire cornea in case of keratoglobus and in some cases there are associations of labor congenital amaurosis and blue sclera pellucid margin degeneration it usually start at the age of 20 years or most between 20 and 40 years so before 20 years the people they usually they may have some refractor error or they may normal and mostly it is bilateral and crescent shape in fera corneal tending no management of corneal ectasia include glasses and first case we usually prescribe glasses if vision can be improved with glasses and in most cases at the initial stage you will improve visual acuity with the glasses but with the advancement of the ectasia glasses sometimes fails then we start rgp lenses or soft contact lenses or intracorneal rings corneal cross linking and corneal transplant corneal cross linking is just only to retard the progression of the keratoconus it has no relation with the visual equity you cannot improve visual equity in people with corneal cross linkage so you will need to expand the people because most of the cases come to me and they say that the doctor did this laser procedure but our vision is the same we visual acuity did not improve so you have to explain the patient that corneal cross linking or cxl it is just to stop the progression or to retard the progression it will not improve your visual acuity now we are coming to the management So these are just a bu- uh, f- mm, very few things about the introduction of the corneal ectasia because mostly this presentation is related with the management of corneal ectasia with the RGP lenses, not with the peso- uh, pathophysiology of various types of corneal ectasia. So we are coming now to the rose care family lenses. So ro- the first rose care it was developed in 1990 by Professor Paul Rose, he belongs to New Zealand, and mostly he is in New Zealand and Australia. But the Rose Kellens, if they are from UK, so he is also working for the Minicon for the manufacture of various Rose Kell family lenses. So the first Rose Kell lenses was developed in 1990, and after that, it <coughs> the advance for a little bit advance, and it was named as Rose Kell Two. K C means keratoconus. 
in 2000 rose k2 pg and the post grafts are these some people say these are post surgical because if even there is no graft but corneal repair or these things occur then again you can use the pg lenses post graft lenses either for the corneal transplant even for the corneal uh, lasik procedure and even for the post surgical procedure rose k2 ic was developed in 2005 ic is for irregular cornea but not only for irregular cornea you can use it for large cornea distortion or large cone as well or irregular cornea in 2011 rose k2 nc uh, that is nipple cones was developed and in 2013 rose k2 xl a semi sclerotic lenses were developed and in 2016 rose k2 soft lenses were developed so our today presentation is for the first four types of rose k family lenses on monday inshallah and tuesday we will discuss rose k2 uh, xl a semi sclerotic lenses and rose k2 soft lenses because their fitting philosophy they are a little bit different from the other one so today we will just cover these four types of rose k family lenses Okay, what are these are some of the advanced fitting options with the Roske family lenses? They have target peripheral curves, the Roske family lenses, and quadrant specific axiomatical cardinal technology, which only Roske two uh, Roske family lenses they have quadrant specific asymmetric cardinal technology. We will discuss it later that what does it mean? Front back and biotoric lens design are available in Roske family lenses. Now, selection of Roske family lenses, who will you select for which cornea or which type of the cone, which type of Roske lenses we should select? So, these are, I already mentioned you that today we will discuss these four types of Roske lenses. So, one is Rose K2 KC, a Rose K2 Keratoconus. Second is Rose K2 NC, a Rose K2 Nepal Cone. Rose K2 IC are for irregular cornea and Rose K2 PG for post graph. So, primary indications for the Rose K2 KC is oval cone and nipple cone, but at the initial stage, not in the advanced stage. So, these are the primary indications for the Rose K2 KC lenses. For the rose K2 NC lenses, moderate and steep nipple cone. So primary indication for the rose K2 NC lenses are moderate and steep nipple cone. Similarly, primary indication for the rose K2 IC are irregular cornea lenses are PMD, pellucid marginal degeneration, keratoglobus, lasik induced ectasia, and post penetrating keratoplasty. And Rose K2 PG, we usually prescribe after penetrating keratoplasty. So, these are the primary indications for these four types of the Rose K family lenses. The secondary indication for the Rose K2 KC is the early, uh, early perisomarinal degeneration, or all nipple cones. We can Rose K2 NC for all nipple cones, you can apply, and Rose K2 IC for all. Secondary indication is for all keratoconus and the rose K2 PG. Secondary indications are for the all keratoconus for nipple cone and lasik induced ectasia. So, primary indication and second indication. So, from here you can judge that for which type of cone, which type of RGP lens from the rose K family I can select and I can try. So, but this is not essential that for the one type of ectasia, you will, you need, or you must have to pick one type of lenses. In this one type of ectasia, for some patient, you may the, get best fitting with the one type of lenses, while for the other case, you may get best fitting for the, with the other type of uh, lenses. 
So these are inter interchangeable. So when a patient with keratoconus or with cardiac ectasia comes to you, so the first step is you should know which type of ectasia is this. And for that type of ectasia, which type of RGP family, uh, Roske family lens I should pick, number one. Second, if this lens does not work, then what is the second option for me? So these are like the primary indication and the secondary indication. So first of all, you now you selected the lens for a special type of ectasia. Now, what are the differences between these lenses? These are about the kits of these four types of lenses. With the Roske 2 or Roske 2 case, uh, Roske family lenses, total number of lenses are 26, right? And base curve of the Rose K2 KC lenses range from 4.3 millimeter to 8.59 millimeter. So range is quite large from 4.3 millimeter to 8.59 millimeter. Diameter range from 7.9 millimeter to 10.40 millimeter in the Rose K2 KC lenses. This is about the trial set. So you can pick any lens with the, any desired base curve and with the, any desired diameter. And power is variable. You can put any power. You do a refraction and any power comes, you can send that power to the manufacturer and they will make, even with the 0.25 difference, they can make you the lenses. Edge left, standard, standard flat, standard steep, and more lifts are available even with minus 1.3 decrease to plus three increase with 0 0.1 increment. We will discuss the, the edge, uh, edge left, how will we select various types of edge left. For the Rose K2 NC family, the number of lenses in the kit are 25. And the base car range from 4.3 to 7.69 millimeter. Since in NC nipple cone, these are very stiff. So here we do not need with the flat base car like 8.5 in this thing. So that is why the number, the base car range from 4.3 to 7.69 millimeter. And the diameter here range from 7.6 to 9 millimeter. Power is variable just like other lenses. And edge left is like standard, standard flat, standard steep, and more left are available from minus 1.5 to plus 3 with 0 0.1 increments. We will discuss these, the edge left. For Rose K2, irregular cornea, the number of lenses in the kits are 18, and base curve range from 5.6 to 9.3 millimeter, diameter range from 9.4 to 12.0 millimeter. If you see here, irregular carnea, mostly irregular carnea, they extend toward the periphery. So we need to cover the periphery as well. Therefore, the diameter is larger here from 9.4 to 12 millimeter. And power is variable. Similarly, edge left, we can get standard edge left, standard flat, standard steep, double flat and double steep. For the Rose K2, PG lenses, that is post graph lenses, the number of lenses in the kits are 22. The base curve range from 5.7 to 9.3 millimeter. And the same, just like the Rose KNC, it can range. And diameter range from 9.4 to 12 millimeter. Power is variable. You can order any power. And the edge left are standard, standard flat, standard steep, double flat, and double steep. Now we are coming to the fitting, systematic approach to fitting. Now step by step we will go. Now first of all what you did, patient comes to you, you need to know about the type of carnial ectasia and you should know that which type of RGP lens from the Roske family is required for this type of 
kernel ectasia. So you selected the lens type. You selected the kit and you pick that kit and now you need to proceed for the patient. So step one, first of all, what will you do? Initial bare curve selection. This is step one. So now I, I have collected all these four types of lenses so that you can compare. If I have separate uh, presentation on each type of lenses, then you will not be able to compare these. So that is why I put it all these on the same slide. And even you can have these slides printed on the paper in front of you. And these will be just like a guide, just like a tutor for you in your clinic. So far oval cone, the rose K2, suppose the patient has oval cone or nipple cone, at early stages, not in the advanced, and you want to fit rose K2 KC lenses. So how will you select the best car? This is not that it will work. This is just to start from. Your initial starting lens should be how. So mean K, if the mean K is greater than or equal to 7.1 millimeter, you check the mean K on the cardinal topography and suppose the mean K is 7.1 millimeter or greater than seven, uh, larger than 7.1 millimeter that is flatter than this. So first trial lens, how will you select? It should be 0 0.2 millimeter than the mean K reading. Like suppose if it is 7.3 millimeter, you will select 7.1 millimeter millimeter. If it is 7.1 millimeter, you will select 6.9 millimeter. This will be not the final lens. This will be just your initial start. You put this lens, you need to go for the step two and three, and then we, we will proceed in the same way. So this should be your first trial lens. If mean K is between six and seven millimeter, now, in the first case, this is the first case where mean K was 1.1 are larger than that. And this is the second case when mean K is between 6 and 7 millimeter. That is a little bit steeper from the previous case. So here, the first trial lens should be started from the mean K. Like suppose between 6 and 7 millimeter, if it is 6.5 millimeter, the mean K is 6.5 millimeter. So you take the 6.5 millimeter base car rose K, KC, uh, KC lens and put it on the patient cardia and then proceed for further assessment. If the mean K is less than uh, 5.9 millimeter, then the first trial lens should be 0 0.4 millimeter flatter than the mean K, which is usually less predictable and you have to go ahead. So to summarize this, you just remember between six and seven, the middle one, right? You just remember the mean K between six and seven. If the mean K is between six and seven, go for mean K value. That the best curve of the trial is the same as the mean K value. If the mean K is between six and seven, if flatter than that, then 0.2 millimeter steeper than the mean K, and if steeper than that, then 0.4 millimeter flatter than mean K. Right? If it is more steeper than, you have to go for a little bit flatter lenses. So this was the first, if you want to fit with the rose K2 KC lens, then how will you select your initial or starting or first trial lens according to the base curve, based on the cardinal topography or on the keratometry? Now, coming to the rose K2 lenses are for the nipple cone only. So, if mean K is 6.0 millimeter or greater, then first trial lens should be 0.2 millimeter steeper than the mean K. Right? Now here, this, with the rose K in C, 
the, the definitely if it is advanced cone and you want to select the nip for the nipple cone only then the base curve will be steeper if it is greater or larger than the six millimeter then you will come for this just like in the uh, first case between six and seven so in this case if six uh, it is rose mean k is greater than six then you will go 0.2 millimeter steeper than the mean k and if mean k is between 5.1 to 6 millimeter then first trial length will be equal to the mean k so this is your second case here you took the first case 7.1 are greater for the rose k to kc but for the rose k in c you will take the first 6.0 are greater if it is 6.0 are greater than 0.2 millimeter steeper and it is if it is between 5.1 to 6 millimeter like here 6.0 to 7 millimeter then in case of nc you will go for a trial length equivalent to the mean k and if mean k is very steep that is less than 5.0 millimeter then the first trial length should be 0.3 millimeter flat, flatter than the mean k and if using a corner topography then select the first base curve the first trial is based on the three millimeter same carry link now coming to the rose k ic suppose the patient has plus minor degeneration keratoglobus oval keratoconus or post lasik or post penetrating keratoplasty so for these cases mostly you may need rose k2 ic lenses so for pmd and globus select the first trial lens 0.3 millimeter flatter than the steeper cornea meridian here you will go for the flatter for post lasik and graft you need to most in most cases you may go to the rose k2 pg lenses and for rose k2 pg lenses which we really we prescribe after penetrating keratoplasty or after lasix then select the first trial lens 0.3 mm steeper than the average k reading so these are how to start how to sir ye jo hum flatter kar rahe hain 0.2 0.4 sir ye standard hai matlab is tarah karna hai rule of thumb isko keh sakte hain sir ye kya ye maine aapko bata diya ki ye अब अगर फर्ज करें आपके पास पेशेंट बैठ गया आपके पास सेट मौजूद है तो आप कहां से स्टार्ट करेंगे तो ये स्टार्टिंग है इसके मैंने पहले से आपको बता दिया कि ये जरूरी नहीं है कि फर्ज करें अब ये ओवल जो फर्स्ट में ओवल कैटोकोनस है और उसके लिए आपको कैसी हो सकता है ये ओवल कैटोकोनस इतना पेरेफ्री तक गया हो कि इसकी ओवल कैटोकोनस के लिए आपको आईसी जैसे यहां भी है इसकी जरूरत पड़े ठीक है तो अब अगर ओवर कैटोकोनस के लिए आप ये लेंस फर्स्ट ट्राई करना चाहते हैं तो ये के रीडिंग पे आप ये जो वैल्यूज यहां पे दिए हैं कि फर्स्ट कर ये पे पॉइंट टू मिलीमीटर स्टीपर दे मीन के तो ये नहीं है कि बस ये आपने लगा लिया फिर तो आसान काम हो गया कि बस कैटो टोपोग्राफी को देख ले और बस उसके ऊपर आप जो है ना लेंस की बेस कर सेलेक्ट करें लेकिन ये आपकी स्टार्टिंग है इनिशियल तो अगर इसी में फ्लोरिसिन पैटर्न आप देख ले तो इससे आपको 0.1 मिलीमीटर mm जो है ये स्टीपर और फ्लेटर ज्यादा पड़ेगा ये एक इनिशियल है फिर इसके बाद आप बाकी स्टेप्स देखेंगे ये तो स्टेप वन है इनिशियल बेस का सिलेक्शन है फिर आप आगे जाएंगे उसकी असेसमेंट देखेंगे वो स्टेप टू और स्टेप थ्री उसमें हम पढ़ेंगे कि असेसमेंट आपने क्या क्या देखना है लेकिन ये क्या है इनिशियल स्टार्ट है बस फिर आप बाकी फिटिंग देखेंगे बजाय इसके कि अब फर्ज कर आपके पास एक पैशन आ गया तो आप कहा से शुरू करें कौन से टाइप से शुरू करें आपके पास सेक्स कैट्स मौजूद है रोज के फैमिली के सेक्स के जैसे अब मेरे पास क्लिनिक में सेक्स कैट्स है तो मैं कैसे हर एक कैट को तो स्टार्ट नहीं कर सकता हूं हर एक लेंस को मैं स्टार्ट करूंगा फिर तो आवर्स एंड आवर्स लगेंगे तो इसी बेस पे मैंने कैट को सेलेक्ट करना है और फिर इसी बेस पे मैंने इनिशियल स्टार्ट जो है वो लेनी है कार्य टोपोग्राफी के, के रीडिंग के बेस पे क्लियर 
Yes, sir. Now, coming to step two. Step two is evaluation of the central fat. Ignore peripheral fat at this stage, right? So, first you select a lens based on corneal topography or based on the ketometry reading. That was your first step. You pack the contact lens from the RGP family based on the K reading and you uh, applied it on the cornea. Now, what will you do in the second step? Suppose you put in the rose K2 KC lens for the oval ketocons or nipple cones. In you, for every contact lens, RGP lens, for every, first what you should do, evaluate central fat immediately after blank when laser is centered. Right? So you just evaluate it. A light feather touch at the apex of the cone is desired. Now, this, what you are doing, central fat. Forget about the peripheral fat at this stage. This is step two. For rose K2 NC or nipple cone, again evaluate the central fit immediately after blank when less gets centered and look for similarly a slight greater central touch than with the conventional RGP uh, rose K2 design. Now here, the touch will be a little bit greater as compared to the first case. Why? Because if it is nipple cone. If you want the touch to be Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, I was here. फरोख क्या हालत ठीक हो होस्ट बन के भाई तो है आपके यार मालती कब भेजोगे यार तुम्हें बुलाया यार तुम आते ही नहीं इतना तुम्हारे में जरूर है कि तुमने रिपोर्ट से निकलना ही नहीं सर्दी है यार क्या करो जब मालती खाने तो सर्दी तो बर्दाश्त करनी पड़ेगी पार्सल की सहूलत मौजूद नहीं है <laughs> सलमान आज तो माई वाइस सर उड़ गए Salmana. Ah, so. Fire earlier. Singer Jal Dayan was passing on it. The mobile must have learned how to punch a call for the passu. Yeah, the team was just a shambha was a passu. रूटीन चेंज का यार मदानन में मैं लारम लगो लो मैं लाजिम हूँ पास समझा यार रूटीन ठीक को नॉर्थ टूल उधर ही कसम है द लेक्चर अच्छा होना अच्छा प्रेजेंटेशन हो के ना
नोदरत जी यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल आई एम सिर्फ खानदान या डेबल दल और नाउरू यार नौ या दस बजे लेक्चर हुए सड़े पास सलाम सर सर सही रखो हेलो जी सर कह रहे हैं कि आप लोग ना जाएंगे और प्रॉब्लम है नेट खराब हो गए तो सर कह रहे थे सर जी आपको बुला रहा हूँ सही है
मेरे ख्याल से सर नहीं आ रहे हेलो दस बजे आएंगे सर भाई बता दिए आपको हाँ पीको को नेट कुछ ऐसे ही दस पंद्रह मिनट बाद चल जाता है ना अभी तरह सब लोग करो ना जरा मारा अगर नहीं आ रहे तो बस एंड करते सर कॉल कर लो या सर को मैसेज करके पूछ लो ना क्या कह रहे हैं
Спасибо. यार हमारी मीटिंग है ना हम जा रहे हैं ठीक है सबका शिव बार बार कॉल कर रहे हैं और अगर सर आ गए तो बस आप लोग क्लास ले रहे ठीक है आप लोग वेट करें सर का क्या हुआ बोल ना हेलो आवाज आ रही है अब किधर चली गई आवाज तो बोलो ना मैं कह रहा हूँ कि सरकार जो है बार बार कॉल कर रहे हैं हमारी मीटिंग है ना तो हम जा रहे हैं तो आप लोग सर का वेट करें सर आ जाए तो फिर आप लोग क्लास ले लेना सही है ठीक है सही है सर को मैसेज तो कर दो ना सर वो फरीक शाह से मीटिंग में शामिल नहीं होंगे पता नहीं यार उनको मेरे ख्याल से नहीं पता क्योंकि अभी मैंने उनसे कॉल पे बात हुई तो मैंने कहा कि हमारी मीटिंग है तो उन्होंने कहा किस चीज की मीटिंग है तो मेरे ख्याल से उनको नहीं पता तुमने मीटिंग का बता दी तो फिर वो मतलब ये ना आके रंग चलेगी होंगे सारे स्टूडेंट्स तो सर को मैसेज तो कर दो ना सर आ रहे हैं कि नहीं आ रहे हमें तो पता लग जाएंगे
Hello. Hello. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, push rain, yes, sir, we pick this in Janet. Sorry, Zalim Kibacho. Yes, I We're playing the Koi. Nay, Jana. Is he maybe Nay, Jana? The class start key was up. The air was such a little chutty over, say, Monday could the class lend it. Hello, Nodra. Gee, sir. The people are ready. There's a mau, Nashta Kumano. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to get a little bit of Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 